we're gonna go ahead and show how to change your motor end. This is important because if you have your motor away from the tool, you're going to need to change the zero end, or if you're on the opposite side of the tool, you may need to change your zero end as well. So what we're gonna do is go into our show menu, we'll go into our standard menu, enter in our password, and we're gonna hit the right blue arrow. We're gonna go into system information, so we're gonna press C, and we're gonna press the right arrow again to scroll through until we see set the ZE, or set the zero end. We're gonna press OK, and then at that point we can change from motor end to idle end zero. If your idle end is zero, that means that your motor is away from the tool and your idle end is closer to the tool. So once you've changed it, you want to press OK. It's going to ask you to press the start button. Uh, you can do that, although it may not do anything at that point. If it does not, you simply need to press stop, restart your machine, and the zero in will change at that point. Otherwise, if you press start and the carriage moves in, then you should be in good shape. So we've done that, it homes, and we're in good shape. So that's all we need to do to change the zero end.